Step away from the hustle and bustle of the city of Rome to the quiet and beautiful village of Castiglione del Lago, located in the heart of Italy's beautiful Umbria region, which is often overlooked by tourists. Castiglione del Lago is a charming town in the province of Perugia on the stunning shores of Lake Trasimeno. This charming village provides visitors with a glimpse into the slower paced lifestyle of rural Italy, with its historic center being a maze of winding alleys, beautiful narrow cobblestone streets, ancient churches and bell towers, medieval castle, small piazzas lined with charming shops, cafes and restaurants, with stunning lake views, delicious local cuisine, and lush rolling hillsides. Castiglione del Lago is a hidden gem nestled in the Umbrian hills and has something for everyone. This place is rich in history, having been inhabited since ancient Etruscan times and now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's talk a bit on the Umbrian region of Italy. Umbria is a region in central Italy, known for its picturesque hilltop towns, rich history and beautiful countryside. The region is often referred to as the green heart of Italy and it's easy to see why as it is covered with rolling hills, forests and farmland. Umbria is home to many famous cities and towns including Perugia, Assisi, Narni, which is a small medieval village that inspired the chronicles of Narnia, Orvieto, the spellbinding Spello, among others each offering its own unique blend of history, art, and culture. I already did a video on most of these towns. I'll leave the links in the description below. The region is also famous for its cuisine, which includes truffles, cured meats, local cheeses, olive trees, and vineyards as far as the eye can see, producing excellent wines, including Sagrantino di Montefalco and the Orvieto Doc wine. Overall, Umbria is a charming and tranquil destination, offering visitors a chance to explore the beauty and rich history of central Italy. We also mentioned Lake Trasimeno. Let's talk a bit on this lake and its creepy legend. Lake Trasimeno is the fourth largest lake in Italy and offers a wide range of activities from swimming and boating to hiking and cycling. There are three islands in the lake. Isola Maggiore, Isola Minore, and Isola Polvese, which are all worth visiting. The largest of these islands is Isola Polvese, almost one kilometer square. The second largest, Isola Maggiore, is the only inhabited one. The small fishing village, which reached its height in the 14th century, today has only around 30 residents. Isola Minore, near Maggiore, is now an inhabited, totally covered by local vegetation except for a small anchorage. There's an interesting story on the Battle of Lake Trasimeno, which tells the story of a battle that took place on the shores of the lake in 217 BC between a Carthaginian force and a Hannibal, which ambushed a Roman army commanded by Gaius Flaminius during the Second Punic War, resulting in a bloody defeat for the Romans. During the night, a heavy fog descended on the lake, obscuring the Roman army's vision and allowing Hannibal's troops to launch a surprise attack. The Romans were caught off guard and suffered a crushing defeat, with thousands of soldiers killed and drowned in the lake. Legend has that the ghosts of the fallen soldiers still haunt this lake and that on misty nights their moans and cries can be heard echoing across the water. According to legend, the ghostly Roman soldiers rise up from the lake's depths on the anniversary of the battle each year. On the night of June 24th, they are said to march along the shoreline, their armor clanking and their weapons clashing before disappearing back into the water of the lake at dawn. I'm kind of scared of ghosts, so I'm not willing to compare this. So if any of you guys are brave enough when you visit the lake, let me and everybody else know if it's true or just a load of hogwash. 
Despite the tragic events that took place on its shores, Lake Trasimeno remains a popular tourist destination and a beautiful natural wonder. Visitors can enjoy various water sports such as kayaking, sailing, fishing, and swimming in the lake. Castiglione del Lago has a long and fascinating history that dates back to the Etruscan period and it has been inhabited since the Roman era. It was an important trading center during the Roman period and a strategic point during the Middle Ages when it was under the control of various feudal lords. In the 16th century, it became a part of the Papal States and was ruled by various noble families and played a significant role in the defense of the region. Its strategic position overlooking the lake made it an ideal location for controlling trade routes and defending the area against attacks from neighboring towns. During the 16th century, the town underwent a period of significant expansion and development with the construction of the Palazzo del Cogna, a grand palace built by the Della Cogna family. The palace is now a museum and houses a collection of paintings and frescoes from the Renaissance period. Castiglione del Lago played an important role during the Risorgimento, which means the Italian Revolution, the 19th century movement for Italian unification that culminated in the establishment of the Kingdom of Italy in 1861. In 1860, Giuseppe Garibaldi, who is a key figure in the movement, stayed in the town and met with local leaders to plan the next steps in the struggle for Italian independence. Today, Castiglione del Lago is a popular tourist destination and attracts visitors with its picturesque medieval architecture, scenic views of Lake Trasimeno and rich cultural heritage. There's a lot to do in Castiglione del Lago. Castiglione del Lago is also known for its excellent food and wine. The town is famous for its traditional dishes comprising of hearty soups, handmade pastas, locally sourced meats and cheeses such as the chingiale stew which is wild boar and the torta al testo, a delicious flatbread stuffed with meat cheese and vegetables. The local cuisine is also delicious with dishes featuring fresh fish from the lake and dishes made with locally grown truffles, that is the tartufo. The region is also known for its excellent wines, particularly the Sagrantino di Montefalco. The town is surrounded by vineyards and olive groves and visitors can taste some of the region's best wines and olive oils at local wineries and oil mills and even participate in harvest activities. There is definitely something for everyone to select according to your palate. Another must-see attraction at Castiglione del Lago is the Chiesa di Santa Maria Maddalena, a Romanesque church with a beautiful bell tower and a stunning interior decorated with frescoes from the 14th and 15th centuries. One of the most striking features of Castiglione del Lago is its impressive medieval fortress, the Rocca del Leone, which was built in the 13th century to defend the town against invaders. The fortress is now a museum and art gallery and features an impressive collection of artwork including pieces from the Renaissance era. The castle that sits at the highest point of the town offers spectacular views of the lake and the surrounding countryside. Overall, Castiglione del Lago is a fascinating town with a rich history and culture. Whether you're a history buff interested in ancient history, Renaissance art and architecture, or a foodie or simply just looking for a relaxing vacation, there is something for everyone to discover in this charming Umbrian town, making it the perfect destination for a relaxing, peaceful and authentic Italian vacation. For now, I'll leave you to peacefully watch the walking tour of this hidden Umbrian gem.
che tutti i posti è così. Che eh. danno il nome di I can't, I so I can't get it. Erection. No, 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 I'm still one spinning. You hit that problem. Hit that problem, I guess. <laughs> PG. <laughs> okay. What I meant is like, you know, the mini two pieces. Which one is the dedication? I think, but do they fall under bare leaves also? What? Bare leaves. Nice. I did all of these like this, or maybe they just had a stamp. No, it's not a stamp. Somebody actually took his his or her time and did it. And then they did like Yeah. Now people are lazy. They doing stamps. <laughs> well, I don't blame them. I don't blame humans. Uh, well, technology has made us become what we are now. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but I don't the pigeon. To, to shoot. Ah. You say they have, they have a lot of pigeons. And that's my guess. That's, uh, Prima sta molto bene. Louder, like I can't see. Yo, no, no. Oh, you, you're just checking out. No, I'm saying. Okay, it's I'm not checking out. Bad. It's not bad. It's good actually. Yeah. 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 Okay, Italian is fun. No, he's 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 he's
Okay, that's that's the dedication there. There he's taking the photo. That's me, Come on, I also do the same ridiculous thing. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Eh, what is eh, it? There is the island. Uh, An island, so yeah. you. Isola Polvese. Isola Polvese. Polvese. Isola Polvese. 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 Polvese
dimmi. Per parlare lì bisogna fare pipì. Oh, fare pipì, okay. okay. facciamo la pipì. Ok. <ride> si paga? No, no. Yes. Uh -huh. Of people doing like this, they walk and then you take a video of like the legs. Uh -huh. like ah, yeah, and you then, can do that. Yeah, I just did it. Not just today, just this. Even the snakes. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, you're actually a snake. Like the snake will grow something. Oh. Nice. English. Lo sai che ho trovato un tavolo? Io ho detto, eh, hai visto quello che c'è lì?
you know any of these names, Sava? I don't know. I know someone called Flavio Federico. Flavio. Okay, I mean in this time, yeah. in this place, Castillo. Anna Maria. Anna Maria the Lady. Also, it has the, the, the beach, the sun no, is better than no, the Pracciano. beach. There is now because the lake and became smaller. Went away. Huh? Yeah, the water is smaller. There are many algae inside because there is no chair. Oh, which is the source of the water? Yeah, uh, it be a river here. Every sound. In fact, when there's little wind, the sound is so bad on the GoPro. The real Let me do more. Look at this guy. Cretone rapisce propina. The water going from small river, no river, small river. Stream. Uh, stream five, six. Wow, finally, bye. 
just came to you I don't even know what it was, it was no it was big you monkey I had 38% Lara, vedi là. Intanto ci devo ripassare. Move your hand, please. Mamma mia. E tu fai voli? No, c'è un'altra uscita. C'è un'altra uscita. Vedi? Cioè, sono quelle cose che... Ah, 
Uh, it's the island of all the beautiful women in the world. <laughs> yeah, so full of shit. Not myself, I'm here representing all the beautiful women in the world. Not just me, myself. I'm part of it. You don't, you don't, uh, uh, yeah, we are inside. And yeah, okay. Solo Lara, boss. Fabrina, boss. Ah. Ah. Lara. Attenzione, altezza limitata, io proprio. Ah, io. Non c'ho sto problema. Tu sai l'ingresso, ma con questo. Sì, no, stavo a vedere una cosa. Ti è, guarda, ci vado a fare. Eh, scusate. Ci può la sì, possiamo andare. Beh, voi vi dite che passare, io no. Io no. Dove è rialzato? Oh, guarda che bello qui.
fanno i percorsi quelli pigri esatto. io ho corso se sì, andavo con calma si è fermato qualche e ho fatto tutto il giro <ride> facciamo una foto facciamo una foto sì, tu ci fai una foto foto foto